Sheltie in there. I'm out there watering and the Sheltie went in front of me and I fell. And I didn't want to hit the shoulder I had done because you know, it was a year out and I could now use it. So I fell on the other one um, and I blew it out. Um, so I went back and I had both shoulders done. So there was a two and a half year period where I really couldn't lift to do big <coughs> works. Um, kind of depressing when that's what you did and you're used to doing that real manual kind of artwork. So um, I started looking at different things I could do smaller to keep my creative flow going. Um, I've been a huge fan of an artist named Dan Estabrook, who works in historic processes, and I saw where he was doing a workshop up in Philadelphia, and I said, Matt, let's take this workshop Dan's doing. So we signed up, and this is a piece of Dan's work in the back here. Dan's represented by Catherine Edelman Gallery in Chicago, where if you look at my salt prints I'm going to show you today, have more of a flat appearance to them. Um, it took me forever to be able to coat a piece of paper. There are several different ways you can coat paper. You can coat it with a brush, you can coat it with a coating rod, you can coat it with cotton. Here's one that's heavily altered afterwards. These are all watercolored. Actually, a portrait of my mother. Do you have to worry about fixing these as an special? You fix them with a regular fixer, yeah. And wash them really well. Um, projects I'm working on now, I'm doing a lot of digital negatives where I'm making up these um, scenarios that don't exist or these places that don't exist. Um, and I'm not altering them. This is what I actually just did the other day. There's three different kind of brands. Yeah, it's a translucent. But it also has this like milky side. So you can find, you may take a picture. You can get it in B and H. You can get it at Freestyle Photographic. And it, have you ever worked with a 4x5 camera, 4x5 yeah. Chica? It's got the little notch, which tells you how it has to go in the printer, just like when you had to load film uh, holders. So my printer will go up to 17 inches. So I can print a negative 17 by whatever, because I could buy this film in a roll also and do a huge mural if I wanted to. Um, so computer plugs in, print out the negative using this film. Um, and I, at that time I had a bigger sink. I used to have a sink that went all the way from the air conditioner down to here. So Matt wrote a grant several years ago and got the sink. Um, the flat file stuff I got through Florida Fellowships. So, and I don't, they don't do the fellowship program that much anymore. One liter of distilled water. Feel free to ask questions or Just put some kind of mark on your paper to show it's salted. This is salted the other day, so there's a little S up in the corner so I know that the silver nitrate part because believe me you will do paper that hasn't been salted or something so if you buy the kits from like Bostick and Sullivan or buy from B&H and you want to try salt printing because this is really something you can do in your house. Bostick and Sullivan gives you the salt already diluted into a bottle and you just put it on top of paper. Uh, they also give you the silver nitrate in a similar bottle. I buy my silver nitrate in larger bottles. I buy sometimes 10% this or 12% today it's just 12 percent silver nitrate um, and they'll give you these other little chemicals like the potassium dichromate which if you want to boost the contrast there's a lot of different things you can do to the chemistry in your printing to get different effects